ever since I was a teenager and I was pretty familiar with my curly hair, I have always had different curl types on my own head. But lately I've been getting many more of these little tiny tight kinky curls. They even feel rough. I've been starting to wonder if maybe it has something to do with age, maybe my hair as it's starting to get more grays and whites, that it's changing its texture. Now I know how important it is to love your curls. I want to love my curls, but I need to make sure that they're healthy and not damaged. I've talked a couple times over the last couple years about uh, some problems that I will occasionally get with a certain type of frizz on my hair, right? I posted an update on my blog about this, about uncontrollable frizz and the dreaded wet frizz, right? So I do get that sometimes and I've always said that it's because um, I go too long without doing a proper protein deep conditioning treatment, right? where I need a high level of protein balanced with an equal amount of high amount of um, moisture. And that's what my hair needs when it's having that type of really coarse frizz. To really outrule it, I wanted to try something. Um, so I'm like, well, I better take this Olaplex treatment and see if it helps. And if it does, what will that tell me about my hair, about what I've been doing to it, etc. And I'm like, well, is it going to improve my hair at all if I don't actually have damage in my hair? Um, let's say that these strands of hair that are all weird are actually damaged. Then will that improve those? I went ahead and I got out my dish soap <laughs> so that I could officially clarify my hair. And I did that this morning. And then I used Olaplex number three. Well... My hair feels really clean. My scalp feels really clean. It's not too dried out, which I was really happy with. Um, the Olaplex treatment was a decent conditioner feel. Um, it detangled my hair fine, and it, I had to use probably about a tablespoon and a half to get it throughout all my hair. Uh, and I let it set on a little while. And then after it set on a little while, I felt like it just wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be. So I know it says right on the bottle to not, that it's not an actual conditioner, but I think they just say that because they want you to realize that it's a special treatment. Um, but it worked as a conditioner because I went ahead and just used my Denman brush. I rinsed most of it out and then that was it. I just put on a little bit of my Essential Slip Primer. Now, I have not scrunched out the crunch, although it's been all day and I've been kind of playing with it. So there's just a little tiny bit of crunch still on my hair. I haven't fluffed it out at all. I do still have some of the, the strange, oh, here's one right here. Uh, let me see if you can see this. Anyway, it's pretty tightly kinked up. Do you see that? It almost just seems like it's a curlier hair type than the rest of my hair, like a 3C or something, but it's not real spirally, it's more kinky. And it feels kind of coarse a little bit in my fingers. But um, anyway, so if I still have stuff like that on my hair, after clarifying and after doing an Olaplex treatment, then clearly my hair is not damaged. My hair has been restored back to whatever health it should be. The hair is totally clean. Um, no buildup. Um, the wet stretch test on it is good. Um, and so, and I haven't had anything that should be causing damage, no excessive heat or dyeing my hair or anything. And so I figured, I guess that's just the way my hair is. I've got the proper, um, elasticity, protein, moisture balance, and my hair is just like that, I guess. So maybe that's the result and I just needed to deal with it. Um, now, in the past, when I was growing up as a teenager, I would find some of those little hairs and I would pull them out. Um, I would find some just growing really short right here, and they were just tight like this, like a 4A or 4B, and I mean like tight little tiny ones. I don't know exactly what causes it to grow like that on my head, 
if it's genetic or if it has something to do with my diet or my stress level, I don't know. I feel like it was all of a sudden that I was noticing them everywhere, primarily through the crown section of my hair and then just a few throughout here. Um, so I don't know, maybe it has something to do with me getting older. Uh, maybe it has something to do with me nursing my baby for like the longest of any of my other children. Uh, I don't know. I did see on probably 10 of the hairs because I've been plucking them out and using them for little experiments so that I could see, you know, how they're doing with different ingredients and dipping them in this and dipping them in that and then I stretch them and then I put them back in water and I try again and, and it's pretty fun a little science going on all the time. But um, I've been pulling them out and I noticed on a lot of them that they had the nice um, loose curl pattern at the top for about the first inch or so, and then all of a sudden it got really kinky, and then it, it smoothed back out at the bottom. And I was like, oh my gosh, maybe something happened during that part of my life. So maybe it was like a huge amount of stress I had during that, you know, six month period when the really kinky part was growing. But I'm glad that my hair is healthy and everything's fine, and I kind of was able to do that test and see. So what I want to do now is get off onto a different subject and just really quick fluff out my hair just for fun and I'll do that for you guys. But I do want to talk about what I've done here with this um, big pincher clip. Oh, I had a few of these and I've taken them out and kind of moved them all around today. But um, I've decided that this is probably the easiest way to get volume at your roots. Look at that. That's nice. Um, without hurting your head without getting them tangled. Like if you use pins or root clips, they're hard to use and sometimes they hurt your head and stuff. So I've been using these lately and they actually work pretty good. So the idea is just to find a place that you wanna have more volume and as you pinch it, kind of lift up and then make sure it, you know, is in there tight so it stays. And just that lift effect that you have right there as it's drying will give you more volume. So you can put those anywhere you need, three, four. And it might look funny right now. <laughs> if you had to go out of the house like this, I guess it would look kind of funny. But they're so easy to take out, you know. I had the clip on this side and you can see how nice the volume is right here. So, so anyway, and then when you flip your hair to the opposite side, you get even more volume right here. And then I could go and kind of pull these curls apart and fluff it and stuff and I'll get more volume on this side obviously if I worked at that just a little bit but anyway there's not that much of a cast on my hair so I don't need to do that much scrunching Make sure you put some comments below for me. I love questions. Bye, everybody.